guys and welcome to my channel in this video i'm gonna show you how to quickly customize uh, your uh, metahuman full body and skeleton so uh, uh, i already imported uh, uh, the morph targets i want to bake and i'm gonna show you them to you this is what we want to bake and uh, the body let me show you the body as well and this is the body right so let me enable this so this is what we want to bake uh, the face skeleton doesn't match our mesh and uh, the body as well right so let me show you what uh, is the problem and uh, why we need to bake Arkit. let me load the Arkit animation and let's enable the morph target and this is why we need to bake right everything is broken because the vertices are too far away from their bones right so let's get started it's gonna be super easy and we're gonna do this without maya this uh uh this uh, uh, uh these morph targets are created uh in uh wrap 3d currently named the uh, face form and uh, they're created by a user so no maya at all and uh, here, it, uh, here is uh, how it works, right? So we go to create from pose. And uh, let me create a little bit room, of room. And uh, now we go to uh, this button, select the morph target, and uh, we press on to bone snapshot. We're going to write here spine 05. And press OK. We're going to call this face. And now we're gonna do the same for the body we're gonna open uh, a torres body we go to create from pose select uh, the beast uh, morph target press on to bone snapshot and we can leave here right and we're gonna call this body okay and now we will go to merge bone snapshots we need to merge these bone snapshots and the order is very important because we start from the body and we go uh, to the face, right? So whatever uh, bone from face is not in the body, it will be added, right? So we're going to do this and we're going to call this merged and press save. And now we can go ahead with uh, our uh, baking. Uh, we can start with uh, whatever mesh you feel more comfortable to start with and uh, I'm going to start with the body, right? I'm going to go here and press on load. Okay, and I'm going to select the merged bone uh, snapshot. Press OK and you can see our skeleton changed and uh, we keep... Uh, this uh, beast uh, morph target selected and the press on uh, update from pose and now that uh, we updated the, the morph target from pose uh, the deltas are uh, from this uh, state the skeleton state to the final state right you can see we transform uh, the mesh to the current uh, uh, to the final form and uh, we preserve the skeleton so this is what we want right and we press bake okay the body has been created and now we go to the head we can remove this reference mesh from here and uh, let's do the same we load uh, the merged uh, bone snapshot, the same bone snapshot that we used for the body. We press OK. It's gonna look very odd. Uh, we select the beast uh, morph target and we update. OK. Uh, the uh, the morph target has been updated, and let's enable it and press on bake skeleton. OK. Uh, the baking has been completed for the face as well and the last thing we have to do is uh, go to recompute normals select the face first and then the body 
and uh, press OK. OK. Uh, the normals are now recomputed and we can uh, uh, check it out and see how it goes. Let me decrease a little bit the sensitivity so we can work better with it. And this is how it looks. You can uh, uh, fix the grooms back so they match uh, uh, the current uh, mesh. And let's test uh, the animations, right? Black background is not very good, but I think we can make it happen. We can also try it and uh, see it uh, with the Archit animation. And as you can see, it works perfectly fine. So this is it for this video. I hope you like uh, this video and uh, the new update uh, in Mesh Morpher. And uh, see you around. Bye.